about this Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, who was the former chair of the Homeland Security Committee. Senator Johnson, welcome, sir. Um, I almost don't know where to begin, but just that last piece from Edward Lawrence with the president saying, we don't, we're not in conflict, we're in competition. Uh, I think that's a complete misreading of our relationship with China or China's intentions. We are in conflict. They are our adversary. They are our enemy. And I don't know how, what he's talking about. This is not some friendly economic competition or an athletic event. I don't think he understands how high the stakes are, sir. He might have missed the uh, blockade that uh, China set up around Taiwan when the speaker visited. He must have missed the militarization of the islands in the South China Seas. Uh, he must be missing their, their dramatic military buildup. Uh, listen, I, I wish China was no more than a, a friendly competitive rival, but, but it's not. It, it's, it's a malign force. It's, it's an aggressive force, and it threatens us, and we need to take that threat very seriously. I mean, for example, he also says... Um, we'll also continue to engage with China as we have throughout the past two weeks. What is he talking about? I mean, the Chinese wouldn't even take the Secretary of Defense's call. Austin calls somebody, some mid-level bureaucrat, apparently, and they wouldn't even return his call. Unless Biden has secretly been talking to Xi, which I doubt, what is he talking about, continue to engage? I would say it's been all China. They sent up a balloon, and the balloon went throughout the, the United States, and we didn't shoot it down for a week. I mean, this is another thing I just do not understand. It is so utterly naive and incorrect. Well, Larry, I think we both understand that I don't think President Biden knows what he's talking about. Uh, let, let's face it, everything, almost everything this president has done since he took office has weakened this nation. 40-year high inflation, record gas prices, high energy prices, rising crime, the embarrassing and dangerous surrender in Afghanistan. You know, our adversaries notice that, and they take a moment of American weakness to become aggressive, to act, and that is what we're seeing. And I think China's just testing us. Um, and one, one of my complaints here you know, over the last couple of weeks is just the lack of transparency. Now the president's saying, oh, there's almost for sure have to be commercial types of uh, balloons or something. Okay, well, show us pictures of what you're talking about. You know, we have pictures of what they downed over Lake Huron. Show them to us. Show them the American public. I think the public can understand you may not have all the answers, but show us what you've got. Instead, they're, they're holding information because it's powerful. You're in the White House. I mean, do you think the agencies were transparent with you? Certainly, Anthony Fauci and, and Dr. Burks weren't uh, transparent with the president. We got a real problem with these agencies uh, thinking they're a government onto themselves and they're not responsible in the American public. That has to end. All right. Well, I want to stay with this uh, specific story because here, too, um, the shame and embarrassment of this Chinese balloon. I mean, at least Biden acknowledges that the big balloon was Chinese. I want to get to the other uh, uh, flying saucers in a minute. But we should be thinking about some countermeasure. We should retaliate. We should do throw TikTok out once and for all. We should tighten up on our export controls, uh, which is overdue. We should say we are absolutely unequivocally not removing any trade tariffs at this time because of these Chinese actions. In other words, we should be thinking about a strong response. And I hear none of that from Biden, none of that whatsoever. And I think that intensifies the shame. Pompeo, Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State, as you know, Mike Pompeo said it's a shame. And I think he's right. We're being ridiculed here. So, so why isn't President Biden acting? Why, why did he cancel right. the China initiative? So, again, this is why Senator Grass and I were investigating the conflicts of interest that were apparent with Hunter Biden. Mm. Uh, to what extent is Joe Biden compromised? What does China or Russia or Iran or North Korea have over this president's head that is compromising our national security? I can't answer that question. But, again, Chinese intelligence can. And... Uh, I am highly concerned that that's what's happening. Let me ask you something else, too. In this uh, statement from President Biden, um, the intelligence, he, this is what he says. The intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects, these are the small aerial things. I call them, uh, I don't know what I call them, but were most likely balloons tied to private companies, 
recreation or research institutions studying whether or conducting other scientific research. Well, I don't understand that. Are they weather? Are they scientific research? Are they private companies from China, from Russia, from North Korea, from the man on the moon? In other words, this stuff is so vague and bizarre that it could mean anything. It does, and the rationale for shooting them down is it was threatening general aviation. Uh, so again, if, if, if these are research balloons, show us some other research balloons so we know what you're talking about. You know, one little clue here is uh, uh, the Senate Intelligence Chairman, uh, Senator Warner, came out and said that we have been basically uh, disincentivizing pilots from reporting these things that they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Again, if, if these objects are out there and they're flying in, in our airspace where, where our general aviation is flying, that's a real danger, and we should have been taking this seriously a lot sooner than we are. Which really leads me to another related point, I think, Senator Johnson, that is, do we have the capability to handle this kind of air traffic, whether it's obvious espionage balloons or aerial objects or flying saucers or whatever. I mean, it seems to me people have to ask the Defense Department, NORAD, do we have the capacity to handle this challenge? Well, I think uh, part of the issue is, you know, our, our systems are set up to look for, you know, fast-moving objects, uh, airliners or missiles coming in from over the pole. I think we might have the capability, but we have to, you know, open up the lens and be looking at more things, and that could overwhelm us as well. So th this is a real problem, and it's not being uh, addressed in a forthright, uh, upfront manner. Well, all right. I guess we'll leave it there. And actually, one more. Look, he's commander in chief, uh, and he was saying he always intended to shoot down the big Chinese balloon. But you know, there's always a question of timing here. Do you believe that he himself? is in complete control and complete command. I mean, did he say, with respect to these smaller aerial things, I, I call them uh, flying saucers. I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but you get my drift. D is, he in ch is he in charge? Is he, is he in control? Is he in command? And most of all, is he telling us the truth? Well, Larry, I, before he was ever elected, I said he was unfit for office for a number of reasons. He's still unfit. Uh, I don't think he's in total control, and I don't think he's ever been telling us the truth. Mm. All right. Senator Ron Johnson, we appreciate it, sir. Thank you very, very much.